On behalf of Mono Maritime, the captain and crew of the Golden Iris would like to welcome you aboard. The officers and crew are here to ensure that you have a comfortable, safe cruise. Please take a few moments of your time to view this presentation about your onboard safety. The only signal that requires you to take action in an emergency is the general emergency alarm signal. This consists of seven short blasts followed by one long blast on the ship's whistle. The signal will sound on the ship's audio alarm and is used to call you to the muster station. It is not a signal to abandon ship. If you should hear this signal at any time, including when the ship is in port, without having been warned that drills are taking place, please take the following steps. Return to your cabin, collect your life jacket from the closet, warm clothing, a head covering, and any medication that you normally use, and proceed to your muster station. The location of your muster station is marked on the notice on the inside of your cabin door. The Golden Iris has three muster stations, Station A in the Meridian Dining Room on Deck 5, Station B in the Club on Deck 6, and Station C in the Disco Club on Deck 6. Please walk quickly and calmly to the muster station. Members of the ship's crew will be posted in various parts of the ship to assist you. Follow their instructions closely. On stairs and in passages, always keep to the right. Signs posted around the ship will direct you to your muster station. In the event of a power cut, low-level lighting strips will show you the route to follow. Should you encounter any smoke, proceed to the decks where the air is cleaner. In the event of fire and during drills, your route may be blocked by fireproof doors. Although they are heavy, these doors may be opened by hand and will close behind you automatically. There are alternative exits from every passenger area and you should take a few moments to familiarize yourself with the signs surrounding your cabin. It is important not to use the elevator in an emergency, since you could be trapped in the event of a power failure. On your way to your muster station, pay close attention to the instructions and information that is broadcast or provided by the officers in charge. Once at the muster station, Wait quietly for instructions and make sure your life jacket is properly and securely fitted. Please note, children, the elderly and the disabled have precedence when donning life jackets. Watch the crew member's demonstration carefully. First, pass the life jacket over your head with the collar behind your neck. Cross the bottom tape around your back to the front of the life jacket, engage the catch, and secure tightly by pulling on the free end. Tie the upper tags together at neck level. Your life jacket is equipped with a light and a whistle to attract attention on entering the water and facilitate location in the dark. We stress that you should enter the water only as a last resort. If this is unavoidable, use the following method. Pinch your nostrils with your fingers while placing the palm of the same hand over the mouth. Wrap your other arm around your chest and tightly grip the side of the life jacket to stop it riding up as you enter the water. Check that there is nothing in the water beneath you and step off. Do not jump. Special life jackets are available for children weighing less than 70 pounds. If these have not yet been provided, please ask your stewardess. If you are not able to collect your life jacket from the cabin, don't worry, since spare life jackets, including children's life jackets, are provided at the lifeboat embarkation station. In the unlikely event that it should be necessary to abandon ship, the Golden Iris's survival craft are located on the decks and will be prepared by the crew. Board the boat when instructed to do so by the boat's crew and sit down cautiously on the benches. Once the boat is full, it will be lowered into the water. All passengers on the Golden Iris are assigned a place in a lifeboat or a life raft. The ship is equipped with spare life rafts. These will be inflated if necessary by the crew and boarded one person at a time after first removing high-heeled or other unsuitable footwear.
Firstly, should you ever smell smoke or discover a fire, press one of the boxed-in red fire alarm buttons situated around the ship. This indicates to the bridge the location of the fire so that immediate action can be taken to extinguish it. There are other signals that have no direct effect on passengers. A continuous audio monotone signals the crew to perform certain duties. This tone is sounded during weekly drills for the ship's crew. Three long blasts on the ship's whistle is the man overboard signal. Should you see anyone fall over the side, throw him or her a life buoy, remain in constant eye contact with him or her, shout man overboard, and inform the nearest crew member as quickly as possible. Notice for the disabled. If you need assistance or any special service, please inform reception and your stewardess. Special arrangements will be made to assist you. Special arrangements will have been made for the wheelchair bound. In the event of an emergency, the ship's crew will help you reach the master station. In order to help us maintain the security of the ship, please show your Mano cruise card and register a fingerprint signature at the designated desk when boarding or disembarking from the ship at each port. Swiping your card through the automated system signals every passenger's presence on board the ship for control purposes prior to sailing. Please do not bring any items on board for delivery to another. In rough weather, take care when walking around the ship. Use the handrails provided in passages and on stairs. Passengers experiencing nausea can receive seasickness pills. Seasickness bags will be distributed. When the decks are wet after rain or washing, please take care as they may be slippery. Certain areas of the ship are marked as restricted areas for the sole use of the crew. We ask you to respect these areas and refrain from entering them at all times. Do not sit on the perimeter rails or allow children to do so, even when you are holding them. This is a highly dangerous practice. Families with babies and young children should make sure there is a responsible adult with the children. When the pool is open, a lifeguard is always on duty. However, use of the pool is at the swimmer's responsibility and is permitted for children only with an adult escort. The gym may be used only in the presence of a crew member and is at the user's sole responsibility. Children may use the ship's elevators only if accompanied by an adult. Mano Maritime maintains a strict anti-pollution policy. Please help us preserve the environment by never throwing anything over the ship's side. This includes cigarettes and cigar butts which are particularly dangerous since they could fall into an open space and cause a fire. Smoking is prohibited on board ship in cabins and public areas. It is permitted only on the designated open deck and in the casino. All ash must be deposited only in designated ashtrays placed in the permitted areas. The use of electrical heating equipment is prohibited for fear of fire. This includes electric heating elements and kettles. Throwing objects into the toilets is also forbidden. In order to maintain hygiene and cleanliness on the ship, no food items may be removed from the dining room. Thank you for watching this presentation. Remember what your action should be if you hear the emergency alarm signal and familiarize yourself with the information on the safety notice on the back of your suite door. On behalf of the captain of the officers, staff and crew of the Golden Iris, we wish you a safe and pleasant cruise. Thank you for your attention and please let us know if there is anything we can do to make your journey more comfortable or if you have any further questions regarding safety.